Sean Sewell in Gimmer.com. This is a review of all things Phantom Splitboarding, from the Phantom Slipper to the M6 binding to the Tech Toes to the Rocket Risers and adjustable cleats. Colorado Proud, Colorado Made, of course on a never summer Colorado Made Splitboard. So let's get into this. First off, let's talk about the Slipper. This is new for this year. It is a very responsive, very comfortable Splitboard specific hard boot. It's beautiful. Let me put the board down and bring this a little closer so you can see it in better detail. Carbon graphite where possible. Soft shell grimlet right here, so that's nice and pliable. Two buckle design, very simple, very easy to use. I have very narrow feet. I get a lot of heel raise in most split boarding boots. I get the least amount of heel raise in these boots right here. So how it works. There's a bail right there. And then I have it on the loosest setting. Each way you go up is tighter in settings. This is the loosest. And it definitely, it kept my heel in place. That was it, I adjusted it once. And that was it. The second buckle, you can keep you know, loose if you want to in touring. I had it on the loosest one right there. Again, there's a little bail, keeps it in place so it won't come loose. And then engage, that was it. No straps to adjust. It stayed in place the whole time. No finicking around, which was amazing. Then of course it's a tech toe. So you got one hole, two hole right there, and I'll show you how this works on the tech toe bindings here in a second. And then you get good traction, full auto cramp on compatible. That's awesome for you mountaineers out there. This right here is the secret sauce. Well, there's a lot of secret sauce, but this is right here is basically your high back coming from soft boots, to, uh, split board bindings to a hard boot. This is how you gain your forward lean and your stiffness. Green is the stiffest. Gold's in the middle, red's lower. Boom, locked in place. That's my high back basically, right? Then when you're touring, disengage it, you get all kinds of articulation. I'll put a video below of how much articulation there really is. It's kind of hard unloaded. Better than any split, boot, split board boot out there. They are two pounds, eight ounces for the 290, 295, 29.5. Uh, 11 and a half to 12 American. So I'm an 11 and a half usually, again, skinny foot. This fit really well. And um, the liner is extremely comfortable. And there's no shoelaces. There's nothing to like loosen up. You can put laces if you want to, but I didn't need to. I've never gotten into a boot so quickly or gotten boot off so quickly. Just slipped in, buckle one, buckle two, done for the day. They are heat moldable. The liners are washable. They're atomic liners. And again, really lightweight, two pounds, eight ounces, 1136 grams of my math serves correctly. Price is 799. So yes, that is a significant investment. You do get the link levers included. It is a split board specific boot. Phantom nailed it on the design. They tour better than anything I've ever used. They're, they're badass. They're also $799. You don't have to use these with the Phantom setup. If you have your own hard boots, everything will work on the setup I'll show you here in a minute. Um, for reference, like the Jones MTB boot is 600 MSRP, so this is, you know, $200 more than that, but lighter weight, better performance. I know I've given the MTBs really good reviews, and they are great for soft boots. Not really comparable to hard boots, and in fact, these are softer as far as articulation and feel, lighter in weight, better at touring, full auto crampon compatible, really can't find any downsides. Worth the extra $200 in my opinion. Cool, Phantom Slipper. All right, Phantom Setup. Let's talk about it. M6 bindings, $399 for the pair. You will need cleats. There are a couple different kinds of cleats. There's ones that are already fixed in place. These are the adjustable cleats, meaning you can go, I think 25, 25. I have mine set to about 20 in the front. Surprisingly easy to set up. I was reluctant to try hard boots for a long time because this whole setup kind of was over my head. But uh, Jason over at Phantom walked me through it, and then I went in, took it all apart, and did it myself last night. Got it done in half an hour, everything is dialed in. So no more time than any other split board setup. How it works, you get your cleats adjusted. The cleats are 199 for a pair. And then M6 bindings simply slide on. They come on, they slide, and then when you get in place, boom, and boom. Super secure. The most secure connection I've ever felt in any split board binding. Also, the best board feel, because the whole binding is making contact with way more of the board. Again, more than any other binding out there. So your board feel, flex, control, 
is great. It's amazing. Better than any, anything I've ever felt. The snowboard boot, the hard boot, simply any hard boot, will, the back will go in here, the toe will go here, and then it latches into place, and that's it. It doesn't move anywhere. The tech toe right here, you put in the boot right here. Well, first off, you loosen it, right? So now it's loose. Pretty much step in, you'll get really good at this. I, I sucked the first time or two, but with practice you get better. And then you're done. Click in place and you're touring. Again, hard boots just tour better than soft boots. I've been out with Scott Yorko and Aaron Rose and anybody else with hard boots and they just smoked me up the hill. So now I hope I can keep up with them because <laughs> now I have hard boots set up too. The rocket risers, nothing crazy revolutionary here, just traditional risers. There's high, there's low. $99 for those. So all in. We got 399, 199, 160, 99, 850 bucks if you have your own hard boots already. So a couple hundred dollars more than most um, soft boot setups or split board setups, I should say. But you're seeing what you get here: a little more advanced, better touring, better board feel. If you have your own hard boots, if you don't have your own hard boots, the whole Phantom setup can set you back by 1,600 dollars. That's brand new price, of course. You might be able to find something used. Uh, they do demos as well, so you can try it before you buy. So $7.99 for the Phantom Slipper. Amazingly awesome boot. $3.99 for the M6 binding. And again, with the M6 binding, once you take it off, you don't need to use this one touring. So you take this off, it goes into your backpack. So you're saving carrying, uh, what is that? Pound, two ounces for each binding, 500 and some grams. So you're saving a little over two and a half kilos, or two and a half pounds uh, a kilo of weight. You're not moving around on your feet every time. So with split board bindings that are soft boot based, you're moving that binding every time you use it, right? So you're, that adds up on the way up. You're still carrying the weight in your backpack, but it's not on your foot, saving you more energy in the tour up. You just, when you get ready to go snowboard, you just simply put it on, rotate, lock it in place. Very, very simple, very thoughtful, very responsive. So positives, incredible efficiency touring up, um, lighter weight, Great build quality, designed and made here in Colorado. Gotta love that. Very adjustable. You can get all the little details dialed in just the way you want it. Great connection with the board. These are the Hercules hooks. I love these things. I have a review on that from two years ago. Connection, connection, great board feel. Uh, snowboarding wise, the, the hard boots were actually softer than some split board boots. So I was able to get surfy and have response I'd never had before. So yeah, tours better, rides better, as good if not better lighter weight great design made in colorado a lot of positives sure it costs a little more up front but um everybody i've talked to who has gone to hard boots or phantom setup in particular has not gone back to soft boots i may be in that category too now it took a long time to get here but i can say that i'm really impressed and all the touring the riding the build quality and the adjustability it's a sean sewell in gamer.com Hope you found this review, overview, and sizing and pricing helpful. Until next time, take care.